question of are you smarter than a fifth grader? Every day this week, we are having expectant mothers in the classroom. Kids, are you ready to meet your new classmate? She is a 32-year-old product developer who attended St. Linus Catholic School. She's due in 10 days. Please welcome Kira Henderson. Show. Doing 10 days and running out uh, here. You know, I'm, I better start practicing. I have a little kid that I'm going to have to chase after in a couple your, of months. Your first one? My first one. Congratulations. Yeah. Good for you. Boy or girl? I'm having a little girl. Having a girl. Have you named her yet? Yes, I have. She's Her name is Kennedy Marie. Kennedy Marie. Oh, yes. I like that. Very, very different. Baby's okay? Baby's, she's kicking. <laughs> We've got our EMT, Brian. <laughs> you ready, Brian? She's kicking. Got the gloves ready. <laughs> Look at you growing up there. You are dressed up for school. Yeah, and that is what happens when you agree to have your hair permed in your cousin's garage <laughs> that summer. In your cousin's garage? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's the best place to get a perm. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> what kind of student were you? Not so very, I wasn't a very good student. Um, just average, I guess just you could average. say. Just average? Yeah. Uh, best subject? Art. Art? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always love to draw. Worst subject? Math. 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 Well, yeah. guess what? We've got some help for you in this classroom today. We have got some very smart fifth graders. Let me introduce them to you. Woo! We have Annalise. Let's get started. I'm going to go with Madison. Madison, come on up here. Yeah. All right. New baby on the way probably could use a little extra money. Oh, yes. We've got some money. I'd like to give it to you. Okay. Let me tell you how you can take it home. You're going to take a test with us. Ten subjects, first grade through the fifth grade. Answer them in any order you like. First grade questions are worth $500. Fifth grade questions are worth $5,000. Get through this. I have got a bonus question that multiplies your winnings by 10. You could walk out of here with a quarter of a million dollars. Sounds good. Sounds awesome. Sounds good to me. All right, let's find out. Is Kira Henderson smarter than a fifth grader? We need to help her take some of our money. Where would you recommend she begin? Well, I love math, so I'd go with third grade geometry. Third grade geometry, right. okay, but it's up to you. You like it? Third grade geometry. Third grade geometry it is, okay. Here are third grade questions are worth $2,500. Here's this one. Okay. True or false, a quadrilateral can have all acute interior angles. True or false, a quadrilateral can have all acute interior angles. Madison has locked in her answer. Nothing cuter than an interior angle. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling this one. I'm going to say true. And I'm going to lock my answer in. Kira says true. Pablo, what'd you say? False. False. Oh. Annalise, what'd you say? False. False. If you could answer the question again, what would you say? Perhaps false. False. <laughs> and that would have been a good idea because true is incorrect. Oh. But here's some good news. You have a save on the board. If Madison said false, you just got $2,500. If she didn't, you didn't give anything back. Take a look at the board. Madison said, false! <laughs> All right, one down, nine to go. I think I'm going to try to get one of the hard ones out of the way. Okay. So let's just go ahead and go fifth grade anatomy. Fifth grade anatomy. All right. <laughs> For $5,000, here's our fifth grade question. What organ in the human body has plural fluid? <laughs> what organ in the human body has plural fluid? All right, Madison has locked in her answer. I, 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 I hate to say it, I have absolutely no idea. I guess I'm just going to have to copy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and copy, so. 
Let's name some organs in the human body. Heart, um, your brain, uh, kidney, liver. Um... The lungs. The lungs is the correct answer. So, if Madison said the lungs, you've got $5,000 more. If she did not, you just gave $2,500 back. Take a look at the board. Madison said the uh, liver. It's OK. Turn it around. All right, we can do it, guys. Let's turn it around. So, Pick a subject. Let's start a winning streak. All right. Let's go ahead and go with fifth grade world history. Fifth grade world history. OK. For $5,000, here's the fifth grade world history question. The 1894 Sino-Japanese War was a conflict between Japan and what other country? The 1894 Sino-Japanese War was a conflict between Japan and what other country? Madison has locked in her answer. I'm just going to go with what, what my gut tells me and just say Korea. And I'm going to lock my answer in. Korea. Actually, the 1895 treaty as a result of this war, made Korea its own country. But the conflict was between Japan and China. Uh, China. See? And all three of my fifth graders had China. Good job, kids. Very good job. Uh, Madison has to return to the classroom. Woo! But you still have a cheat left, so pick another classmate to help you out here. I'm going to go with Pablo. Pablo, come on up here. How are you, Pablo? I'm ready to win some money for her. Oh, ready yeah. to win some money for her. I'm with you. Seven subjects up there. Which one you like the best? Mm, U.S. Geography. U.S. Geography. Okay. I'm going to go with U.S. Geography. U.S. Geography it is for $1,000. All right. We can do this. Here's the question. If Annalise is visiting the only state that borders four of the five Great Lakes, what U.S. state is she visiting? If Annalise is visiting the only state that borders four of the five Great Lakes, what U.S. state is she visiting? Pablo has locked in his answer. So let's go ahead and I will say Michigan, and I will go ahead and lock my answer. Kira. Yes. Guess what? What? Michigan is absolutely right. We got $1,000. Don't go away. We're on our way to $125,000 right after this. Welcome back to Special Delivery Week on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Kira Henderson, has $1,000 and is expecting a baby in 10 days. Still got a peak left. You've got Pablo up here to help you. Okay. There are six subjects on the board. Pick one. You know what? Let's go with fourth grade cultural studies. Fourth grade cultural studies. Okay. You can add 3,500 to your total with a correct answer. Here's the question. The Ashante people, mostly farmers, are native to what continent? The Ashante <laughs> people, mostly farmers, are native to what continent? All right, Pablo's locked in his answer. Ooh. I'll go ahead and peek. Why don't we go ahead and do that, so. You want to peek? Do me proud, Pablo. Come on. All right. Pablo said he thinks it's Africa. Africa. Pablo looks like a pretty smart little boy. So you know what? I am going to go with what Pablo says, and I am going to say Africa. And I'm locking in my answer. Guys. Come on, Pablo. Not only does he look smart, he is smart. He is exactly right. It is Africa. Now here's a little bit of bad news within the celebration. Pablo <sighs> has to return to his desk because we are now out of cheats. Nice job, though. Good job. Ah. 
It's just you and me now. Half right. the test remains. You got four thousand five hundred dollars. Right. You pick it. I pick it. I am gonna go with fourth grade literature. Fourth grade literature. Here is the fourth grade literature question. In Anna Sewell's novel, Black Beauty, the title character is what species of animal? In Anna Sewell's novel, Black Beauty, the title character is what species of animal? I didn't read Black Beauty, but I believe it was about a horse. So, and I think I'm pretty confident about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and that's my answer. I'm looking at the question and I'm thinking, it's probably not about a goldfish. <laughs> you said you think it's a horse. Of course it's a horse. You're absolutely right. Don't go away, we're making a run at 125,000 right after this. Our contestant, Kira Henderson's got $8,000. And she has got a place to spend it because in 10 days you are due to have your first child. Pick a subject, let's add to that $8,000. Let's go with third grade social studies. Third grade social studies, okay. Correct answer takes your total over 10,000. Here's the question. Which of the following office holders is typically elected to the shortest term? U.S. President, U.S. Representative, U.S. Senator. Which of the following office holders is typically elected to the shortest term? U.S. President, U.S. Representative, or U.S. Senator? Um, shortest term. You should know about terms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say two years, I think, it would be a sh the shortest term. So I don't think it would be the president. U.S. Senator, my senators have been in office, gosh, for a long time. So I am just going to have to wing it and say B, U.S. Representative, because that's the only one that I'm not absolutely positive on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say B, blocking my ass. Actually, U.S. President is four years, like you said. U.S. Senator is six years. Okay, six years. So it all comes down to how long do U.S. Representatives serve for? Yeah, and none of my U.S. Representatives seem to come to mind, so that's, you know, President, Senator, I could name my current senators right now for my state, but not your representative. not my representative, so I'm just thinking that's just they come in the office and they're out. So well, that's probably I'm right. because of the quick turnover. Because U.S. representatives only serve two-year terms. Woo! You're absolutely right. Woo! That a girl. That a girl. All right. You've got ten thousand five hundred dollars. We are down to first grade and second grade questions. I'm just gonna go with second grade science. Second grade earth science, okay. You can add $1,000 to your winnings with the right answer. Here's the second grade question. By definition, magma is which of the following states of matter? Gas, liquid, or solid? By definition, magma is which of the following states of matter? Gas, liquid, or solid? Hmm. Solid or liquid? I am going to say that it is B, liquid, and I am going to go ahead, cross my fingers, and we'll lock in my answer. And you weren't kidding. You crossed your fingers. <laughs> you crossed your fingers and locked in your answer. I did. The correct answer is B, liquid. You're absolutely right. Very nice, Kira. Now we are down to the first grade. It is between astronomy and vocabulary. I'm gonna go with astronomy, so. Astronomy, okay. You got a lot of money, let's not any 
answer this too quickly. We'll talk it out, all right? Okay. The first great astronomy question is this. Which of the planets in our solar system has the most water? Which of the planets in our solar system has the most water? I feel confident to say that um, it is Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in my answer. Speaking of water, we don't want any to break here in the classroom no. today. <laughs> Feeling OK? Yes, I am. Thank you. Oh, Kira. Oh, gosh. Earth to Kira. You just won another $500. Oh. We're going to see if she can make it $125,000 when we come back. Fifth grader, we have had expectant mothers all week, and Kira Henderson is with us today. Yeah. Doing great. And we are down to the last subject. It is first grade vocabulary. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You ready for it? I'm ready as I ever be. Let, let's do it. Let's, let's get this, this right. For $500, here's our first grade vocabulary question What is the plural form of the word woman? What is the plural form of the word woman? I believe that the plural word of woman would be woman, women, W-O-M-E-N. I'm going to go ahead and feel confident in that answer and lock it in. The first time you said it, you said woman, and I was like, no! Woman. <laughs> it is, in fact, women. You are absolutely right. Five hundred more dollars. How about that? Twelve thousand five hundred dollars. All right, Kira. I have a bonus question that multiplies your winnings by ten. We could turn twelve thousand five hundred into one hundred and twenty-five thousand. <laughs> Bonus questions are always fifth grade questions. You don't get to use any of your cheats or your classmates. Well, look at the subject, and then you can decide if you'd like to go for it or not. The subject of today's bonus question is this. U.S. history. Let me give you one final temptation. Okay. Because you're over $2,500, our good friends at brightstarts.com won't let you leave empty handed. I would give you a gift certificate for $2,500 there. You know, I am going to err on the side of caution, and I'm just going to take my winnings. So. You want to drop out? You want to lock that in? I'm going to lock that in. Drop it out. Congratulations. That's a great day, Kira. Great day. Good luck with your baby. You're going to love motherhood. You're going to be a great mom. Thank I can you tell so you're going to be a great mom. One last thing before I give you the 12500 Is there a little something you'd like to say before you leave us? Yes. My name is Kira Henderson. I'm a mommy to be, but I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Every day this week, we are welcoming an expectant contestant to our classroom. All right, kids, are you ready to meet your new classmate? She is a 33-year-old attorney who attended Wonderland Elementary. She is due in seven days. Please welcome Tamara Benefield. Seven days. Yes, I, yes, you I look am. great. Thank you so much. You look great. Thank and, you, you. And, and you are a, a lawyer. I am. Loyola Law School. You're a smart girl. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
Look at a little Tamara growing up. Oh, Were you a good student? You had to be a good student. I was student. a pretty good student, yeah. Well, we got some help for you in this classroom. Now, your second baby is on the way. Do you know what it's going to be? I do. I'm having a baby boy. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And have you picked a name yet? I have. Um, his name is going to be Elias Maximus. Ooh, I like that. You like that? <laughs> Elias Maximus. Sounds like a gladiator or That's something. Right. I like that. <laughs> All right, well, with a second baby on the way, I know you could use some more money. I could. I want you to take a lot of our money home with you today. Thank I told you. you that I had some help for you, and it comes in the form of some very smart fifth graders. Let me introduce them. We have Annalise, <laughs> Pablo, <laughs> and Madison. <laughs> All right, Tamara, pick one. Let's get started. Madison, how are you? I'm awesome and pumped. Awesome and pumped. Oh. And by the way, we have our EMT Brian standing by, okay? Thank you. Brian, you've got no, don't you need like a net or a cat, catcher's mitt or something? That's all I need. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Okay, I hope we don't need you. All right. Let me tell you how you're going to take our money home with you. You're going to take a little test with us. First grade through the fifth grade questions. You can answer them in any order you like. First grade questions are worth $500. Fifth grade questions are worth $5,000. <laughs> then tomorrow I've got one more question. It multiplies your winnings by 10. It is the bonus question. You could leave here today with a quarter of a million dollars. That's crazy. You ready? I'm ready, Jeff. Let's find out. Is Tamara Benefield smarter <laughs> than a fifth grader? All right, we've got a full board. I think I'm going to go with third grade earth science. Third grade earth science, OK. Third grade questions are worth $2,500. Here's this one. True or false, methane is a greenhouse gas. True or false, methane is a greenhouse gas. Madison has locked in her answer. I do believe it is a gas, but whether or not it's a greenhouse gas, I'm going to say true. Gonna and I'm going to lock that in. All right. <laughs> and I am going to say you have $2,500. That's a nice start. Nothing to it. Pick another subject. All right. How about fourth grade world history? Fourth grade world history, OK. The fourth grade world history question is this. In the 1400s, French heroine Joan of Arc led her army in a war against what nation? In the 1400s, French heroine Joan of Arc led her army in a war against what nation? Madison's locked in her answer. What do we know about Joan of Arc? Hmm. Maybe I'll take a peek. You want to peek at, peek at her paper? I'm going to lock that in. Jeff. Locking in a peek. You don't have to go with it, but you certainly can. Let's take a look at the board. Madison said she thinks the answer is England. That's what I was thinking, Madison. I'm going to go with her answer, and I'm going to lock that in. Lock in England. <laughs> the correct answer is actually England. You're absolutely right. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> Let's keep the winning streak alive. All right. Third grade animal science. Third grade animal science. Here's third grade animal science. Let's see what the question is. Which of the following is the closest living relative to the trilobite? African elephant, gecko, or horseshoe crab? Which of the following is the closest living relative to the trilobite? African elephant, gecko, or horseshoe crab? Madison's locked in her answer. I'm going 
I really don't know, but I'm thinking it's not an elephant. 50-50 chance, Jeff. I'm gonna go with a horseshoe crab. You gonna lock that in? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling very confident about that. Get a little good luck. Let's let's uh Can we just look rub one your more belly time. here for a little good luck. There Come we on, go. Elias, give me a kick, give me a sign here. I'm gonna switch my answer and go with gecko. And I'm gonna lock that in. Now you eliminated the African elephant. That was a wise thing to do. That is not the right answer. If you had locked in horseshoe crab, you would have been right. Take a look at the board. There is a trilobite. There's a horseshoe crab. This 10-year-old could save you. Madison's answer is coming up right after this. Special delivery episode of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? We have expectant mothers every day this week. Tamara Benefield is with us. She's got $6,000. We've got Elias Maximus on the way in about seven days. We have a little problem in the classroom because I told you your answer was incorrect and the only way you got to add to that $6,000 was if this fifth grader said horseshoe crab. You ready to see what she said? I'm ready. Take a look at the board, Tamara. Madison said, Horseshoe Crab! <laughs> Very nice, Madison. All right, she's got to return to her desk. All right. And you need to pick another classmate. All right. Annalise. Annalise, come on up here. Got to keep the girl power thing going That's here. That's right. <laughs> She's a lawyer. That's impressive. What do you want to do when you grow up? Um, fashion designer. Fashion yeah. designer. Would you mess with my wardrobe? <laughs> um, I got it going it's on. Not working. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> kind of had the same style for about a thousand years. All right. Okay, it is time to pick another subject. I think I'm gonna have to go and attack the fifth grade ancient history. Fifth grade ancient history. Here is the fifth grade question. Designated as a World Heritage Site, Cappadocia is a centuries old complex of caves carved into ancient volcanic rock and located in what country? Designated as a World Heritage Site, Cappadocia is a centuries-old complex of caves carved into ancient volcanic rock and located in what country? All right, Annalise has locked in her answer. This is a tough one. Cappadocia definitely sounds like great wonders of the world and it have to be ancient. I'm thinking maybe Egypt. I really don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and copy. And I'm gonna lock in that answer. Ah. Annalise said, Greece. Mm. How's that feel? Cappadocia does sound more like a, a name that originates in the Greek language. I am sorry to say it is not Greece, it is Turkey. Now we got a little work to do, Tamara. Because Annalise has got to return to the classroom. All right, thank you. <laughs> Let's get a little good luck. Here we go. Elias help going on here. Six subjects up there. Where do we start our comeback? Let's go with fifth grade world geography. Fifth grade world geography, all right. 
Here's the fifth grade world geography question. If Annalise is visiting the islands of Sumatra and Sulawesi, what country is she in? If Annalise is visiting the islands of Sumatra and Sulawesi, what country is she in? I'm thinking Malaysia. This is a wild guess. I really don't sure. know. OK. And I'm going to lock that in. Malaysia. It is not Malaysia. It is Indonesia. But you were right there. This is not one of those things that helps you in real life. That's all right. We didn't get anything back. Take another subject. Yeah, let's go with fourth grade astronomy. All right, let's get it out of the way. Here's this one. Which layer of the sun is closest to its core? Corona, chromosphere, photosphere. Which layer of the sun is closest to its core? Corona, chromosphere, photosphere. When we look at our eyes, I believe the corona is the, I think it's the middle, middle part. Um, photosphere leads me to believe that it's outer. I haven't heard of the chromosphere. Why don't I go with corona? And I'm going to lock that in, Jeff. Actually, the corona is the outermost layer. The it's photosphere funny. is closest to the Aww. core. <laughs> and by the way, all three of our fifth graders had that one right. Good job, kids. Okay. <laughs> We're down to first and second grade. Let's get some money. Let's go with second grade social studies. Second grade social studies it is. All right, Tamara, here's the question. What is the lowest denomination of current U.S. paper currency that does not feature the portrait of a U.S. president on its front? What is the lowest denomination of current U.S. paper currency that does not feature the portrait of a U.S. president on its front? Hmm. I'm thinking a $10 bill. I mean, you're an attorney. You. Pretty good instincts. OK. But these fifth graders are really smart. <laughs> they are. I'm thinking $10 bill, Jeff, and I'm going to have to lock that in. The 100, by the way, Benjamin Franklin. Benjamins, that's right. The Benjamins. <laughs> and you just got 10 more of them. You are absolutely right. We're going to see if Tamara can turn $1,000 into $30,000 when we come back. Classroom expectant mother Tamara Benefield is our contestant. She's got $1,000. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. You okay? I'm feeling great. All right. You and I have a little work to do. Yes, we do. You can still leave here with $30,000. Let's get these out of the way. Yeah, let's, let's get that math question out the way. Well, here we go, then. First grade math it is. Here's the first grade question. What letter in the alphabet typically represents the multiplication symbol? What letter in the alphabet typically represents the multiplication symbol? I actually know this one, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be X, and I'm locking it in. And that would be absolutely right. It is X. That was an easy $500. And then there were two. It is spelling or vocabulary. All right, let's go with spelling. Second grade spelling. You a good speller? Yeah, pretty good. OK. Here is the second grade spelling question. What are the last four letters in the following word meaning complete? The word is thorough. What are the last four letters in the word thorough meaning complete? So that would be T-H-O-R-O-U-G-H. So I would say O-U-G-H. 
and I'm gonna lock that in, Jeff. <laughs> Tamara, oh, you are so right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> One question remains. First grade vocabulary, you ready? I'm ready, Jeff. Here's the question. By definition, the word equine refers to what species of animal? By definition, the word equine refers to what species of animal? Equine. Would that be a... Oh no, Jeff, I'm in trouble here. And I'm out of clues, Jeff. Let's see. I'm thinking of, I'm trying to think of other land ma mammals, maybe spine based, just brainstorming here. Or let's just, since it's a wild guess, I would say maybe, maybe dogs. But I'll just go ahead and lock it in, Jeff. Locking in dogs. <laughs> We're gonna find out if that is right when we come back. <laughs> A special delivery episode of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Tamara Benefield, was on a little bit of a roll, and then a first grade question has tripped you up. Amazing. By definition, the word equine refers to what species of animal? Now, let's look at the word equine. E. Equestrian. Equestrian horses. Not dogs. Not dogs. <laughs> but horses. All three of my fifth graders had horses. That's what I was Wonderful. hoping you were getting. Equestrian wow. or Equus, you yeah. know, the, the play. We are so excited that you are having a baby. We really enjoyed you being here. One last thing before you leave us, Tamara. Anything you'd like to say? Well, my name is Tamara Benefield, and I may be a family law attorney and a mother of almost two, but I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time, everybody.